photosynthesis. Do you have any idea about how plants make their own food and produce oxygen? Let us learn about the complete process. Plants take in carbon dioxide from air and water from the soil, put them together in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll to produce sugar and oxygen. The process is called photosynthesis. The sugar produced is used by the plant for its life processes such as growing and reproducing while the excess is converted mainly to starch and stored in various plant parts which may be used as food by animals and humans. Plants are important for all living organisms because they give us food to eat and oxygen to breathe. Plants inhale carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen while we humans inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. Photosynthesis is a complex reaction. In a lot of ways it's similar to the way our body breaks down food into fuel that it can store essentially using energy from the sun a plant can transform carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen in chemical terms carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight gives carbohydrates and oxygen the process by which plants make food is called photosynthesis the word photosynthesis is made up of two words photo means light synthesis means putting together the process of photosynthesis photosynthesis occurs mainly within the leaves photosynthesis requires carbon dioxide water and sunlight plants get water from soil through roots Plants obtain carbon dioxide from air through tiny pores in the leaves called stomata. Plants absorb sunlight through chlorophyll, a green pigment located in plant cell structures. Water and minerals from the soil are absorbed through the root and transported to the leaves through vessels known as xylem vessels. Leaves of the plant have tiny pores called stomata. Each stoma is bounded by guard cells. The guard cells regulate the opening and closing of the stoma. When there is ample carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and abundant light, the stoma opens up and brings in the carbon dioxide required for the process of photosynthesis. Hence the plant's stomata allow carbon dioxide to enter the plant's leaf to be used in photosynthesis. The plant also requires a mean to release the oxygen that is a byproduct of the photosynthesis process. The stomata also provides a mean for the elimination of oxygen from the plant after photosynthesis has taken place. Plants contain cells known as mesophyll that contain specialized cell structures called chloroplast. The chloroplast contains chlorophyll that is responsible for the green coloration of plants. One plant leaf is composed of thousands of cells and each cell contains 40 to 50 chloroplasts. The chloroplast, an oval shaped structure, is divided by membranes into numerous disc shaped compartments. Once the carbon dioxide and water reach the chloroplast in the presence of sunlight, the process of photosynthesis begins. Sunlight is absorbed by chlorophyll 
a green pigment located in the plant cell structure called chloroplast. The following is the reaction that happens inside the chloroplast of the plant. Carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight give carbohydrates and oxygen. The products of photosynthesis are glucose and oxygen. Glucose, a carbohydrate processed during photosynthesis, is mostly used by plants as an energy source to build leaves, flowers, fruits and seeds. The unused glucose produced during photosynthesis would be stored as starch in leaves and roots. This unused glucose would be used by plants when there is no photosynthesis. Oxygen that is liberated as a byproduct passes through the stomatal opening. This oxygen would be utilized by the human for respiration.